Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are fishing. We are fishing on Lake H is what I'm going to call it to keep the, the name sort of safe so to speak due to um, just request of the sort of the fishing board that we keep it sort of private so to speak. So yeah I'm going to call this Lake H. I have done another video on this one. Um, I called it Lake 1 but I'll, I'll change that. So I'll just give you a, a show of where I'm fishing. So here we are guys, so right hand rod is literally there, oh, and I've got a bite actually, look. I'll be back. Alright, this is interesting, double take. Alright, how do we do this then? Alright, well, this is a bit dicey isn't it? Got one in the net. Trying to get the other one in now. Cool, that was really hard work. Let's get this in and I'll come back to you. Wow, first double take on Lake H. Normally I struggle on this lake, but just caught two. That was an effort, that was hard work. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the fish. Yeah, uh, double take. What a result. Never had a double take here before. Uh, like I say, um, 20 pound, two ounce, I think I said it was. And the other one was just shy of 14, so about 13, 12, something like that. But result, not bad for 20 minutes fishing. Um, finished work a bit earlier, so I thought I'd come out today. I wouldn't normally, and normally I do a 24 hour, as you know, sort of um, Saturday evening to Sunday, but I thought I'd pop down today, and it's what a payoff. Double take. Boom, there we go. What absolute carnage that was. I've just pulled the middle rod out of the water for a minute to reset that as the fish got tangled in them. It was the one in the middle, you know. He gets absolutely obliterated when you get one on either side. What I was saying is I had, hold on, where's my finger? A wicked white wafter in that cove next one the middle one was just in front of that tree root that was the og black i put on and where i had the other fish was literally where these brambles are literally just right in front of that and that was with the pineapple wester um <clears throat> here's the kit if you've seen in my other videos or other video first time using them today Wow, what a result. It was those bad boys that caught the just shy of 14 pound. And these ones, the go-to, my go-to anyway, Wicked White Wafters, that was the, just over 20. And it's the OG Blacks I've got um, on the middle one. Nothing yet, but look at the state of me. Absolutely sogging wet, but I can't complain. I love it. So right, let's get these rods back out. Anybody's wondering what I'm using? Tungsten tubing, lead clip system, <coughs> soft end trap, knotless knot, little D kicker size um, four um, I think they were curve shank if I remember I don't think the wide gate I think the curve shank uh, micro barbed and obviously I've just put a fresh compulsive wicked white on there the other one got dragged all through the mud and who knows what and I've just got two um, hook stops either side just to stop it from sitting all the way down here how whenever it's sitting in the water so just opposite the barb there we go, that's what I had the 20. You might notice I haven't actually got any putty on there. I've lost my putty, and obviously in the heat when it's been stored, it's obviously come off and stuck to God knows what. So I'm actually doing with this no putty, 
but obviously where it's wafter obviously it sits on the bottom anyway luckily but it just goes to show that you don't have to have it but it helps the presentation but i've just banged out two fish so there we go This is the other one, slightly different. It's actually a, a kicker system sort of thing. So you do your knotless knot as you would normally. So it's a kicker, but on the kicker it has obviously this um, fin bit here. So obviously it acts as like a slip D, so to speak. I'll tell you what, I love these, but the only reason I haven't used it on the other one is because I've run out, so I need to try and order some more. But that's the pineapple ester. Right, so when loading the bait boat, pop your rig on the floor underneath it, pick it up, bring it in. So it looks something like that, you've got your weight, you've got your hook. Load up with a bit of bait. Probably actually a bit too much for what I've been putting in normally. Rest your hook link on the top. There we go. And that is how I send my boat out. Like I was saying earlier guys, Asbo, the 
I've been glugged with about half a bottle of the actual glug. Well, a couple of months ago now. Then what I did is I, because it stays in the van, it's probably got a little bit warm, so it's dried them out. So I just put a bit of fresh glug on. There we go. That presented over, well, white wafter, wicked white wafter over the top of that. It makes it stand out. It's banged me a couple of fish so far. Just want to take 10 seconds of your time, guys. Just an important uh, thing to remember when we're out fishing in this heat. Sun cream. Let's not forget it. I wear, I wear sunglasses all the time, so the sun just constantly reflects off my glasses. Here we go. I'm going to look like a bloody idiot now. So much on my face. I don't, not person that really burns. I love the sun, but obviously it's getting hot let's keep ourselves protected there we go don't take two minutes to put it on there we go i might look a bit paler than i did do my ex was showing up there look but just keeps us all protected so let's get back to the fishing so guys recently they've just done some work on our lake uh, they've cut back a lot of the trees, the overgrowth, you know, all the bushes. They've got rid of a load of uh, reeds down in the bot bottom right-hand corner. It just looks amazing. Um, all the swims have been redone. As you can see, I don't, you just sort of see the sleepers sort of around the edge in there. Look, that's all been redone nearly on every swim. Yeah, it looks incredible. Um, I did have a little walk round. I did film a bit of it just to show you all the new sort of swims that they've done. Um, but I've missed out some of it because there's some people fishing. So obviously I don't want to include them in the video. But walking round, there has been... Somebody's caught a 19 over in the... Um, got a car park. We call it like second swim down from the car park. Someone had a 19 someone sort of just dead opposite me give or take a couple of swims up on the other side he's had nothing he lost one but so he's had nothing so far um gentleman up on the right here a couple of swims up nothing from what i'm aware of he was busy so i didn't get a chance to talk to him so i can't assume that he hasn't um another gentleman up a couple of swims up from that um he's been here two days and nothing and like i say i turned up I was here for about 20 minutes, I think. And like to say, the right-hand rod ripped off. And while I'm playing that, um, the fish did go underneath the other rod. So went the other one, went off, I thought, oh, here we go, we're tangled up. But no, I saw that and then he pulled the rod off the actual um, rod rest. Or, you know, the bank sticks. So I had to quickly grab that, trying to balance that between my legs while I'm trying to reel the other one in. Uh, the other one kept going underneath the line on the middle one. So yeah, it was all a bit risky stuff there, but we landed them both, so that's that's something. This lake, I think I blanked for a year and a half, uh, probably what, last year? Up until about last year, should I say. Um, thanks to mad baits now, I've actually managed to land quite a few fish. Uh, so that's something. So yeah, check out Mad Baits. I'll leave a link in the description as I always do. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> I'll include the video, like I say, about walking around the lake and just show you all the new bits and what bits have been taken out. But the guys here have done a fantastic job. So, cheers guys.
there used to be where those reeds are from there all the way around to about here full of reeds where all the fish would hide but we've just had people in to come and uh, revamp the lake take a lot of the sort of debris away and sort of all the a lot of the bushes reeds and i must say it's my first time since they've done it about two weeks ago wow incredible it's really opened up this lake now all of this i think if we look back at one of my other videos just full of greenery where well, you can almost see i think it come to where my foot is roughly a good three four foot basically when you walk through the bar with the barrow it would be touching um oh excuse me hiccups the bushes in between now this is the one i come to last time that you saw with the the other video of folding up the ground sheet look at that that looks amazing holy moly they've got the aerators on that pump a bit of oxygen in around here is all opened up as well absolutely incredible they've done a fantastic job I'm only down here for the day finished work a bit earlier so I've got down here try and get a couple of hours fishing in see what happens normally I come down for you know the evening 24 hours so, I did forget to say earlier, but this left hand rod, where I put it up there, the time I brought the bait boat back, the line was, I was getting bites on it, the uh, bobbin was going up and then dropping and going up and dropping and then went up and so I sort of just picked it up, but unfortunately there's nothing there, so obviously I reset it and then another 10 minutes later, I had the fish in the end. Um, but yeah, so it could be bringing messing around with it. But I like that um, pineapple ester. You got like I say the half, half white and half, half um, yellow. So it makes it stand out quite nicely. Just had a little run on the blue one here, the little rod. Oh, did it, did it, did it. Up like that, and then it's dropped back now, so it's just a slight take. Let me see what happens. Another one, but dust. <laughs> she looks diddy, this one. <laughs> uh. 
they always look a bit smaller in the water though, don't they? All right, let's get set up. Right hand rod, wicked white wafter again. I have just filmed all this, but I forgot to press bloody record. So I won't keep it out much longer. But come in 15-11, take away the weighing sling, so you're about 12-11. In the original photo, I did say, video, I did say it was about 12 pounds. <laughs> Let's get him back. So the evening is drawing in now. I'll be packing up in the next half hour or so. So we have had three today, which is a bloody good, good for me, especially on this lake. Some mate he just walked past. Um, he's been here for three days and caught nothing. <laughs> it wasn't a nasty way. Oh God, get on mad baits. That's what you need to do, get on mad baits. But yeah, so like I say, I'll, this will probably be the end of the video unless I catch another one. I've had a couple of liners, but nothing has come off that. So thanks for watching, guys. Give it a like. Drop a comment if you like. Um, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.